Hi, I'm Michelle and welcome to the Snugglery. Today I have a bit of a different crochet top pattern for you. This is such a simple, versatile way to make a crocheted top. I'm not even really gonna call it a pattern. As much as it's me introducing a crochet top making method that I wanna demonstrate for you and give you all the tools and measurements that you'll need to make your own crochet top pattern. The beauty of this method is that the base is just a rectangle, which makes it really beginner friendly. So if you can crochet a scarf, you can make this top and you can use any stitch pattern you'd like. If you start by chaining the long side like I did, you'll need a chain that when you wrap it around your chest, there's like a three to four inch gap. Now it's not enough just to take like your bra strap measurement and subtract three or four inches from that. And I know that from experience. A couple years ago, a friend of mine asked me to make her this viral crochet top that you may have seen on Pinterest about that time. And while the prototype fit me perfectly, it was way too small for her. Even though we were the same bra measurement around, we were not the same cup size. So to help you with this part, I've created this handy chart. And I'll leave this up here for a bit, but you can also find it anytime on my website, which I'll link to in the description box. And as you can see, the length of your rectangle will change depending on where you land with the bra band circumference and cup size. This will be helpful if you're making these for friends or selling them or writing your own pattern. But if you're making this just for yourself, you can always measure around your chest, right across the highest point of your boobies, and take whichever number you get, subtract three or four inches or so. So when you've got your rectangle the length that you want, the width of the rectangle is kind of up to you. This can be a design choice. You can make it longer to make like a cropped shirt instead of a bra top. But for reference, six inches is about how tall a B cup bra is. So that's a good minimum to start with. And then all that's left is to lace it up. You can crochet a cord. Or, I know you have a drawstring that came out of a hoodie in the wash. That works great too. Ribbon, shoelaces, anything you want. And you just thread it like a shoelace. And depending on the stitch pattern you used, you can simply thread the strands through the very edge stitches. But it's also really simple to add some eyelets to thread the lace through. On my last row, I chained three to start working along the edge of my work. and worked a double crochet somewhere along the edge here. Far enough from the chain three to make a little space. Then chain one and double crochet again, somewhere evenly along the edge. There aren't actual stitches to work into, so just chain one, double crochet evenly so nothing's pulling or scrunching, and those chain one spaces will make little eyelets so it's even easier to lace up the top. You'll see in my sample, I even added an easy shell stitch border at the bottom and I've got my eyelets on either side and it is just a rectangle. But if you lace it up, suddenly it's a beautiful crochet top. And there are limitless ways you can customize this with different stitches and borders. You can add little sleevelets or straps, and I encourage you to make this pattern your own. So I hope you've gotten inspired by this crochet top idea to make your own crochet top pattern. And if you do make your own, share it with me on social media somewhere, because I'd love to see what you do with it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!